good morning today we are going to see the chapter square and square root okay so in that going to choose some exercises and question okay first we are talking about square numbers only so square numbers means the numbers which when multiplied by itself we will get for example 2 into 2 so a number multiplied by itself so 2 into 2 is equal to 2 square that is equal to 4 so such numbers are called this 4 is called square number so we are first our question is the perfect squares from 1 to 100 we are going 1 to 500 we can write the perfect square between 1 to 500 we are going to write so we can check like one square what is one square that is equal to 1 so one square equals 1 1 square equals 1 into 1, 1, 2 square, 4, 3 square, 9, 4 square, 16, 5 square, 25, 6 square, 36, 7 square, 49, 8 square, 64, 9 square 81, 10 square 100, 11 square 121, 12 square 144, 13 square 169, 14 square 196, 15 square 225, 16 squared equal to 256, 17 squared 289, 18 squared 324, 19 squared 361, 20 squared 400, 21 squared 441, 22 squared 484, 23 squared is uh, 23 into 23 that is equal to 400 and 484. So 23 squared then what happened to 23 into 23 is 529 which is greater than 500. So our question is find the squares numbers okay. Um, layer from 1 to 500. So we can write till 484 and we can stop. Okay, so children, uh, please uh, study till 30 squared. So it will be easy, uh, useful for you. You know how to do. Uh, so if you know that square, find the square root and all, it will become easy. Otherwise, we can do in a simple method how we will do for example uh, if the question is 21 multiplied by 21 how you can do in one step so first we want to multiply ones place into ones place that is 1 into 1 1 then you can cross multiply and add that is 1 into 2 that is 2 plus 2 into 1, 2. So, what is 2 plus 2? 4. So, 4 will come in the middle. Then, in the last step, you need to do 2 into 2, that is 4. So, 21 squared is 441. 
similarly i will do one more question for you practice like that so that those who uh, don't know the square numbers by heart you can use this in one step itself we were able to solve this and we can save our time uh, without doing two digit in, uh, multiplication in two steps two digit into two digit multiplication in two steps so uh, one more question if it is uh, 23 multiplied by 23 how will we do first three threes are nine then cross multiply and add so here three into two six three into two six so six plus six six plus six is twelve so two we want to write here and this one will become the carry plus you need to add two into two that is four so one plus four is five so our answer is five hundred and twenty nine one more example i will explain to you if it is uh, 51 squared that is 51 multiplied by 51 sorry 51 even uh, 51 into 52 also we are able to do with the same method you can try okay so since we are talking about square numbers i am just explaining that only so 51 multiplied by 51 1 into 1 1 then cross multiply 1 into 5 5 1 into 5, 5, 5 plus 5, 10, 0 here, 1 carry, 5, 5s are 25, 25 plus 1, 26. So, 2, 6, 0, 1. Can you try with the same method, 53 squared and comment the answer, okay? Okay, now we can move on. Now we are going to find the squares, whether it is a perfect square or not, we are going to find so what is a perfect square let's see about it for example if it is 4 is 4 a perfect square for that to know we need to use the method of prime factorization that we have studied in the small grades so prime factorization as the name suggests what it means we are going to do factorization factors we are going to find Prime means using other prime numbers. So, we will divide only with the prime numbers, not with other numbers. So, 4 is not a prime number. So, we need to divide 4 is an even number. So, you need to divide 4 with 2. So, what will you get? You will get 2 because 2, 2 into 2 is 4. It is a perfect square. Why? Because we can write the 4 in terms of 2 multiplied by 2. Okay, so we have two twos coming. Okay. If my number is 8, okay, to understand the difference, I am taking 8, let's see. So, I am able to, since it is an even number, I can divide with 2. So, 4 twos are 8, then again divide with 2, 2 twos are 4. So, an 8 is when we divide 8, we will get 2 into 2 into 2. So, I have 2 into 2 perfect, but I have a 2 alone. So, it can't become a perfect square. So, how can I make this number a perfect square? So, to make this as a perfect square, since 2 is alone, I can do, since the question is, how can I make it as a perfect square they didn't give you anything to uh, like any suggestion okay so what are the possibilities we have I want to eliminate this two if I eliminate this two I will get a perfect square how can I eliminate this two by dividing right so since I don't want this two means here it is multiplication so I want to divide so, I can do like this uh, divided by 8 divided by 2. If I do, I will get 4 which is a perfect square 2 into 2. This is one way to make it as a perfect square. Another one way also I can do. How I can do? I can multiply with 2. So, I will get 8 into 2, 16. See, now it becomes as pairs. How? Because 8 means 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. 
along with this if i multiply one more two then it become as a pair i got two pairs of two if i have in pairs then i can able to find the square root and it becomes a perfect square as well so i can tell 16 is a perfect square clear okay so these things you have studied in small grades okay with this in mind we are now going to take some hard questions uh, according to 8th grade so basics are important so that's why i explained you that so now using prime factorization we can determine whether the following are perfect square our first question is 784 can we check 784 is a perfect square or not okay so since it is an even number you need to divide with 2 so you will get 3 into 2 6 7 minus 6 is 1 so you will have 18 18 means 9 twos are 18, then 2 twos are 4. So 392. Those who can't do like this, you can do normal division, write like this and do division and find the answer. Okay. So, but uh, practice more and try to do like this itself so that you can save the time. Now, again, it is an even number, so it is divisible by 2. How can I we divide? 1. 2s are 2, so 3 minus 2 is 1, again 9 2s are 18, I will get 1 carry, 12, 6 2s are 12, again 2, because even number, again with 2, 9 2s are 18, 8 2s are 16, again with 2, 4 2s are 8, 9 2s are 18, then 49, 49, it is a odd number, it is not an even number, right? And also 49, it is ending with 9. Uh, so it is uh, like a, we, we can check whether it is divisible by 3. 4 plus 9, 13. 13 is uh, not divisible by 3. So it is not divisible by 3. But we know 7, 7s seven are 49, right? So 7 is the lowest prime number which can be divisible by 49. So our answer will be what? 784, we can write it as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 into 7 into 7 now our duty is to check whether they are in pairs see how many pairs we got yes all of them are in pairs 1 2 3 so they are uh, they all are in pairs so we can tell like it is a perfect square here our question is whether it is a perfect square or not is our question. Okay. But I am going to teach you here itself how to find the square root. Because both are together we can study so that it will be easy for you. Don't get confused. See, now we have checked whether it is a perfect square or not. Okay. But how, if it is a perfect square, there will be a square root. What is called square root? First we can check that and we can come to this. Square root. If 4 is a perfect square means and I got 4 by multiplying 2 two times, right? 2 2 are 4 means then square root of 4 is equal to square root of 2 multiplied by 2 when we are writing the 2 2 times or if it is in coming in pairs the square root of 4 we need to write the 2 only one time so square root of 4 will be 2 and other examples are for example we have seen 21 into 21 equal to 441. So what will be square root of 441? Square root of 441 will be square root of 21 multiplied by 21. That is equal to 21. Then square root of 100. 100 is what? Square root of 10 into 10. 100. So 10 is the square root of 100. 
I hope all are clear with this point. Now, coming back to this question, how can we find the square root of 784? So, square root of 784 is equal to square root of 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7. Now, you need to group it as pairs. Okay. So, here 2, how many pairs of 2 I have? 2 pairs of 2. So, for this one pair, I need to take 1, 2 outside multiplied by for this 2 into 2, I need to take 1, 2 outside. Then for the 7 into 7, I need to take 1, 7 outside. So, my answer will be 2 multiplied by 2, 4. 4 into 7, 28. So, square root of 784 is 28. So, what does it mean? It means like 28 multiplied by 28. I will get 784. And so, square root of 784 is equal to 28 is what we can understand. I hope all are clear with this point. Go through it, pause the video and do it again and try it on your own. Now, our next question is to check whether 1009 is a perfect square. So, 1009, if you check, um, it is an odd number. It is an odd number. So, odd number means we can't divide by 2, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, nothing. So, uh, now you need to apply the divisibility rule of 3 and you can check. So, 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 9, that is equal to 10. So, it is not divisible by 3 as well. So, it is not divisible by 7, 13. Then you need to check with the prime numbers. 7, uh, 13, 17 like that. So, it is not divisible by anything. So, actually 1009 itself is a prime number. So, you need to know this number. So, 1009 is equal to 1 into 1009. So, is it a perfect square? No. It is not a perfect square because we can't uh, write this as a, in terms of square numbers, right? In terms of square root. So, we can uh, tell like it is not a perfect square. In terms of prime numbers, we can't write because 1009 itself is a prime number and prime numbers means we can't factorize the prime numbers. Okay, then our next question is uh, 2595 whether it is a perfect square or not first all of you uh, just pause your video and try on your own first okay check it whether you were able to do then check the solutions okay so since it is an even number we can do divided by 2 1 2 are 2 then 2 2 are 4 9 2 are 18 6 twos are 12 and come in the answer okay then you check whether you are right then 2 6 twos are 12 4 twos are 8 8 twos are 16 then again divided by 2 3 twos are 6 2 twos are 4 4 twos are 8 then 2 1 twos are 2 6 twos are 12 2 twos are 4 divided by 2 8 twos are 16 1 twos are 2 then divided by 81 came. So, 8 plus 1 is what? 9, right? 9 means it is divisible by 3. So, you want to do divide by 3. So, divide by 3 means you will get 27 because 2 3s are 6, 21 will come, 7 3s are 21. Divided by 3, 9 3s are 27, then 3, 3 3s are 9. So, now we can write 2 5 9 2 as in terms of prime numbers. See, first we can check the pairs, whether are they are in pairs. See, I have 1, 2 alone, right? So, when I split uh, like this itself, I, I was able to know whether it is um, and coming in pairs or not. So, they are not coming in pairs. So, that means... Uh, 
so that means it is not a perfect square so how can we write so uh, 2592 is not a perfect square because our question is whether it is a perfect square or not and it is not a perfect square so uh, are we able to find square root of 2592 no because it is not a perfect square no? so we can't, there will not be any perfect square root for this but we we can get like uh, we we uh, we want to multiply with what to make it as a perfect square we need to multiply with 2 to make it as a perfect square or we need to divide with 2 to find the lowest per perfect square possible with this okay so that is the thing we can do now our next question is 4356 whether it is a perfect square or not divided by 2 2 twos are 4 1 twos are 2 then 7 twos are 14 8 twos are 16 divided by 2 1 twos are 2 then what will we do 1 we have 1 means we can't divide with 2 right so we will do 0 into 2 0 then 17 okay take 17 everyone will uh, forget to take the 17 and they will take 7 and get wrong that's why I'm telling here specifically so it will become 8 to 16 9 to 18 then 1089 2 so uh, it is divisible by 2 no because it is a not an um, even number so now you need to check the divisibility of uh, 3 1 plus 8 9 9 plus 9 18 that is a multiple of 3 so you can divide with 3 3 3 is a 9 then 6 3 is a 18 3 3 is a 9 again it is divisible by 3 1 3 is 3 2 3 is a 6 1 3 is 3 again 121 with with what number it is divided by 11 so 11 11 is a 121 so now are they are in pairs yes they are in pairs so that means we can find the square root of the same so root of 4356 is equal to square root of 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 11 into 11 so to find the square root means here two twos are there so i will take one two outside two threes one three outside two elevens one eleven outside two into three six six into eleven sixty six so square root of four thousand three hundred and fifty six is sixty six if they ask you to find the square root then you find the square root otherwise no need to find the square root if uh, if your question is whether it is a perfect square or not you need to write this much only you are, then your answer will be 4356 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 11 multiplied by 11 so 2 3 11 are in pairs okay 2 3 and 11 are in pairs so 4356 is a perfect square this will be your answer okay clear okay next question also when i am doing 6084 please pause the video first try on your own and write the answer then check whether you are right don't copy okay more you practice then only you will study that's why i am telling again and again so it is divisible by what it is an even number so divisible by 2 3 2 are 6 0 4 2 are 8 2 2 are 4 then divided by 2 again 1 2 are 2 okay then one balance 5 2 are 10 2 2 are 4 1 2 are 2 now 1, 5, 2, 1 we got. So, is it a, uh, what, what, with what we can divide? Because here uh, we know it is not an 
even number right even number means it will be divisible by um, 2 then uh, what about uh, 3 we can check the divisibility rule of 3 so 1 plus 5 6 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 1 9 so it is divisible by 3 so now we can continue 5 3s are 15 then again here also 2 is coming so what we will put we will put 0 then 21 7 3s are 21 okay so this is very important step because many of them make mistakes uh, in this point. Okay. Then 507. 507 means it since it is ending with 7, we can tell 9 threes are 27, right? So we can check 5 plus 7 uh, is 12, right? 12 means uh, it is a multiple of 3. Let's check with 3. Mm. 1 3 is 3. 4, 5, 20, 6, 3s are 18, 19, 20, 27, 9, 3s are 27. Okay, so 169 you we will get. Then uh, 169 means with what uh, we can, it is ending with 9, but uh, 169 we can't divide with any other number. If you know till 13 squared, you will be knowing. 13 into 13 is 169 because 169 is a very tricky number if you don't know uh, 13 into 13 is 169 many children will be uh, stuck in this point they will be uh, thinking and uh, they don't know how to do further so this happens many times that's why i'm specifying and so 169 square root is 13 so please study that very well okay now we can come to this question whether it is a perfect square or not. Let's see. So here 2 is in pair and then 3 also pair in pair and 13 also in pair. So that means it is a perfect square. Okay. Then we can find the square root. What will be the square root? 6084 square root is equal to square root of 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 13 multiplied by 13. So, 2 in, in pairs. So, 1, 2 we will take outside. 3 in pairs. 1, 3 we will take outside. 13 in pairs. 1, 13 we will take it uh, outside. 2 into 3, 6. 6 into 13. 13 multiplied by 6. 6, 3s are 18. 1, 6, 6, 6. 6 plus 1, 7. So, 78. So, square root of 6084 is equal to 78. That is our answer. Clear? Okay. So, we have now finished this session. Okay. So, we have now studied two things. One is we have first written all the perfect square from uh, 1 to 500 we have written. Next, we have done the prime factorization and uh, found whether uh, the numbers are perfect square or not we have found then also we studied if it is perfect square how to find the square root also we have found now i will give you some homeworks please do it and write the answer in the comments okay let's see 155 find whether it is perfect square or not Okay, then four hundred and eighty four, three, five hundred and seventy six, four thousand. Okay, check whether they are perfect square or not. Bye. Thank you.